in the Bible, Abraham, the founder of the faith of the Abrahamic religious cults, before he became Abraham, Abraham, he was Abram, and his wife was Sarai, who became Sarah. Now, here's the funny thing about Abraham and Sarah. Abram and Sarai. They were brothers and sister. Brother and sister became husband and wife in the Bible. Ew. Well, the man at the altar, the man at the altar justifies this by saying, well, the bloodline was pure. Okay. This continues, though. We have a stream of incest that flows through the pages of the texts of Abraham. And they justify it. They engage in mental gymnastics to justify this incense. We have Lot and his two daughters. Now, remember the scene. Okay, if, you, if you've never read the Bible, let me tell you the scene. We have Sodom and Gomorrah, who Lot and his wife and his two daughters left because they had warning from the angels of the Lord to leave because God was going to destroy that city in that mytholo mythology. And so Lot's wife looked back at Sodom longingly and was turned to a pillar of salt. And so Lot said, I want to go to that city. And so the God of the Bible says, Granted, Lot, you may go to that city. Go in peace, my son. And so Lot and his two daughters went to that city where they wanted to go. But then for some reason... They left that city. Now, I'm going to tell you what the reason is. Because of the sexual depravity of the bloodline of Abraham. Because then they left that city. They brought wine and went to a cave and had a father-daughter sex orgy. That's in the text. Nowhere does it say that Lot got drunk or the daughters got Lot drunk. Nowhere does it say that the daughters got their father drunk. It says they brought wine. And they had sex. That's what it says. The English translation modifies that. But that's not what the original says. The original says they wanted to go to a city. They went to that city. Then they left that city and went to a cave. They brought wine and they had an orgy. That's what... The original says. We have Moses. Who is Moses? Stuttering, stuttering Moses. Stutters for a reason. Because he comes from incestual bloodlines. Moses' father married his own aunt. His own aunt. Now, as that river of mud flows... You end up with the mythological figure of King David. Now, here's a little side note. Nowhere in these Abrahamic texts does it ever mention a Megan David, a six-pointed star. As a matter of fact, that six-pointed star was invented in the 13th century. And there was ten spheres of enlightenment and da-da-da-da-da that you had to go through with their Kabbalah and then you would attain this Abrahamic rite of passage. Oh, wait a minute. I've heard of rite of passage that's being preached in uh, Odinic Abrahamic belief system too. But anyway, be that as it may. So that Ma Megan David is not mentioned once. Not once in any of the Abrahamic texts. The five point of star is the pentagram, the star of mother goddess. However, we have this King David. We have King David, the mythological figure, who had a wife, and her name is Bathsheba. 
that's she, her name was Sheba. She was bathing on a rooftop. Now, the story behind David. Now, Acts, Acts 15.22. No, 13.22. 13.22. I'm going to go there. Because Acts 13.22 says, And when he had removed him, the he being the, uh, the God of the Bible, or, or the he, uh, Saul. Saul was removed. Okay. He raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. A man after my own heart was King David. King David. What did he do? Well, here's the story of King David and his main squeeze, Bathsheba, bathing Sheba. Sheba was on the rooftop and she was taking a bath. And the pervert peeping Tom David, according to the mythology, was looking at her taking the bath on the rooftop, the Sheba. Problem is, Sheba was married. See, she, Sheba was married to a man in David's army fighting his battles, and his name was Uriah, okay? So Uriah needed to be taken out of the picture, and that's exactly what David did. He sent Uriah to the front lines of the battle to be murdered so that he could go have his way with Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Hmm. Her name is pronounced Sheva. Bathsheba. So, that is the queen. Because you have King David, now you have Queen Sheba, Sheba. And David, a man after the Abrahamic God's own heart, sent her husband to be murdered, basically because that's what he did. David murdered Uriah so that he could be with Sheba, make her his queen. And that's what happened. And then they had Solomon. Solomon was going to become the queen. There's actually a whole a whole chapter in these depraved texts of Abraham written on Solomon. The Songs of Solomon. Well, you see. Solomon was considered very wise. And there was this queen that came to him. And her name was Sheba. As a matter of fact, let's go to 1 Kings 10.1. See, 1 Kings 10.1 says, And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. With hard questions, this queen of Sheba. The queen of Sheba came to King Solomon, the son of David, and uh, Queen Sheba, Sheba. And she wanted to test Solomon's wisdom. Well, according to legend and an Abrahamic timetable, Solomon and the queen of Sheba um, had sex. Um, they had a son by the name of Menelik. Menelik, M-E-N-E-L-I-K or M-E-N-I-L-I-K is purported to be the first emperor of Ethiopia. But that is in the 10th century before the common era. Now, in order for that to take place, you have to use the Abrahamic timetables using their ages of 900 and so on and so forth. So, but this is, so King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, the Queen of Sheba had sex and they had a son while she was testing his wisdom with hard questions. Well, Here's the problem. That text right there. 
the word of does not appear. See, the, the way it reads, and when the queen is Melka. One word, and when the queen, Melka. Okay? Of Sheba is Sheva. So all you have is two words there, and it is Melka Sheva. Queen Sheba. See, Queen Sheba. David's wife. She tested the wisdom of her own son. And they had sex. And they produced Menelik, the first emperor of Ethiopia. It wasn't a queen from a foreign land. It was his own mother. So you see, when we have Abraham and his sister Lot and his daughter, Moses' father and Moses' aunt, producing Moses, and then you have Solomon and his mother having sex. The depraved texts of Abraham and their incest is so deep and so disgusting. 